Starts in a few minutes. How many is a few, eh? Well, less than five, but more than two, eh? Uh-oh, I better get my makeup on. <laughs> yeah, you wear makeup? Show makeup. You know, like just to highlight my eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, Brother Bear, Awani Camp Circle. Like, really soon, eh? You look beautiful. Hi, Are you guys excited for the show? Yeah! My children, it is almost time. A new totem will soon be revealed. One that will protect and guide us. Let us join together in celebration and welcome this new spirit. Oh, Kona, we're late. Everyone else is here. We need to hurry up, Kona. The ceremony is about to start. Great. Oh, 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 have you seen her? No. Uh, has anybody seen my teacher, the shaman? No. no. Okay, well, I guess we're not cool after all, Kona. Come on, I'm gonna get everything set up for the ceremony. Good afternoon, everyone! Good afternoon. You all know the shaman of our village, the wise woman who talks to the great spirits? Well, I'm Katori, her apprentice, in other words, her student. And I'm sure most of you know Koda already. He's my helper and my best friend. <laughs> oh, okay, thanks, Koda. Well, here on the mountain, where the lights touch the earth, the great spirits come to reveal the animal totems that are concealed inside the logs, just like this one here. Oh, and today, my great teacher will find the animal spirit hidden inside this log. Oh, I can't wait to find out which one it'll be. Yeah, do you remember the time we were supposed to be guided by the spirit of patience? Oh my gosh, I thought that day would never end. Well, the first thing we gotta do is we have to light the ceremonial fire. But. Why do it the hard way? Where is some magic incantation? I put it in my bag. Koda, you took it, huh? Let me see that paw. Uh-uh, the other paw. Koda, I know it's behind your back. Give it to me. Get your grubby paws off. All right. Now, all I need to do is speak these words to magically light the fire, but she does something first. What does she do first? A ceremonial robe, of course. Well, how do you think I'll look? I think I look pretty good, don't you? Well, I know I'm not the shaman yet, Koda, but you know what? This fits pretty well, don't you think? I'll just take that as a compliment. Now, let's start this fire. Wood that nurtures leaves of green, spark to life with flame on sea. Ah, that's right, I have to blow on the fire when I talk. Uh, this isn't gonna be easy, huh? Maybe one of you could help me. I need someone to help me out. Who thinks that they can help me out here? Someone, you think you can help me? Yeah, come on over here. Come on over here. <laughs> A little shy. All right, who else thinks they can help me out here? Anybody? No, everyone's a little shy. What? And stand right here. What's your name? What is it? Come on, come here, come on. And stand right here. This way, right here. All right, now what's your name? Joey. Well, everyone say hello to Joey. Hi. All right, Joey, now this is what I need to do, okay? When I speak these words here, I need you to blow on the fire like this. Can you do that? Yes. Yeah. When I say go, you start, okay? Ready and go. Wood that nurtures leaves of green, sport to life with flame on sea. <laughs> it worked! It worked! Well, of course it worked, Joey. Hey, excellent job. We got a big piece of the 
sign of work. Thank you so much, Jody. You're a great help. All right. Now, before the ceremony can begin, we must first wake the spirits of all the other totems. Oh, I know, Coda. I know. The shaman usually does this part, but she's not here, so what do I do first? I forgot. And besides, I'm not actually going to talk to the spirits, Coda. I'm just going to make sure everyone's here for the ceremony. What? Come on. I did pretty good at the fire, didn't I? Yeah, whatever, Joey helped a little, but she couldn't have done it without me. Stand back, watch this. Small things become big, and winter turns to spring. One thing changes to another, totem spirits sing! Sing! Oh, sing, please. Yeah. I guess I should have paid more attention to that lesson, Akoda. Hey, didn't the shaman say something about calling the spirits in their own voices? Good idea. Okay, try this. Make the sound of a wolf. Oh! That was the weakest pack of wolves I've ever heard. Let's try that again. Oh! Yes. Now, the wolf, it stands for wisdom. And to tell you the truth, I think I need a lot of that today. Thanks, Coda. So all together, let's call on the spirits of the wolf. Oh. Oh. Okay, um, next the mammoth. The mammoth that stands for strength. So can you do this motion and sound like a mammoth? It kind of sounds like a, well, it kind of sounds like an elephant. So try it with me. Everyone. Silly. <laughs> I can't believe that it worked! And um, we're gonna need some guidance, so what sound does an eagle make? Does anybody know? What sound? Ah, that's right, everyone! Ah. And next for the spirit of the moose! And I have no idea what a moose sounds like. You got any ideas, Coda? A chicken! It does not sound like a chicken! Let's listen out there, maybe they know. Oh, does somebody out here know what sound a moose would sound? Moo! Well, it's better than what I got, so we're going with that. Everyone try that. Moo! And cross your fingers while we're at it. And all together, let's call on the spirits of the moose! Moo! Louder! Top of your lungs! I wasn't asleep, eh? I was just resting my eyes. Quit wiggling, eh? We'll fall over. Oh, yeah, like you know so much about it. You tried being on the bottom. It's not my turn yet. That's what you always say, eh? Look, I'm on top for 100 years, then you're on top for 100 years. Those are the rules. Triple off, eh? <laughs> but it's like someone woke up on the wrong side of the totem.